What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. So for the past week I've been doing a lot of Master Duality, Keitel Encounter, Dungeon Carries, live on Twitch. I was doing a lot of them and everybody kept asking during that like what my Hunter build, my Solar Hunter build was. Guys, I created this build months ago, I don't know, six-ish months ago when I did my solo flawless dungeon of the duality encounter. I'm gonna go through, but I never did a breakdown of it. So I'm gonna go through the entire build, show you guys what I was using. I'll also link it in dim, but I would suggest watching the video and also letting it play out because one, you're gonna learn a lot about my build, and two, it's really gonna help me out and help push my videos to the algorithm. Really quick, also, if you enjoy this at any time or it helps you out, guys, I'd really appreciate you subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on upload, and it really helps me. So let's get into this. I'm using a Solar Hunter. Like I said, I showed you guys I was using the Blade Barrage, the Gambler's Dodge. Why I'm using Gambler's Dodge? Obviously, if for some reason I ever lose my knives or my powered melee, I just run up to an enemy and I dodge, get it back. That's a big part of this, okay? You want to keep that in the back pocket in case you make a mistake. But as you can see, I'm using the knife trick, and every time I throw my knives out, it throws about three knives, and every single one it hits, it makes me invisible. It takes out the enemy every single time no matter what unless yellow bar but as you see this is why i'm using this glaive by the way it's a one shot on a yellow bar and then my knives i'm also invisible i go to the bell keepers two shots with the glaive because it's void and i'm invisible another two shots i'm invisible look oh i almost had an issue where i may have died healing grenade throw it down you'll rarely see me use it but it's in the back pocket if i absolutely need it i'll throw it down okay guys it is an insane build you have such survivability there's such utility in this build okay for the aspects we are using knock them down because your solar supers are enhanced meaning i'm using the blade barrage so it launches more projectiles more projectiles means more damage obviously so you definitely want to use that then on your mark it's not the most helpful the reason i use it a lot of people like to use the gunpowder bomb the reason i use on your mark gives me three aspects or three fragments so that is the only main reason that I use on your mark. It is actually very good. It's not probably better than the gunpowder bomb because that just does massive damage. But the three fragments, it's a no brainer, especially for this build. And I'll show you why. So let's get into that. I'm using Singeing, Ember of Singeing, because your class ability recharges faster when you scorch targets. Every time I throw knives, I'm scorching targets. Okay, so you are triggering that and proccing that every single time. Then we got Ember of Torches. Powered melee attacks against combatants make you and nearby allies radiant. You are also always radiant the entire time. And you're making your your allies, if they're near you, radiant as well. Guys, it is a crazy thing to have on this build. Ember of Solace, radiant and restoration effects applied to you have increased duration. While making yourself radiant all the time and having the restoration, you're also extending the duration of it every time you throw a knife. Then, Ember of Empyrean, solar weapon or ability final blows extend the duration of restoration and radiant effects apply to you. That also means that every single time you do it, you extend it every single time. And then if you use a solar weapon such as Lament or the mini tool, which I use all the time, then you are extending it through those solar weapons. Then we got ember of ashes you apply more scorch stacks to targets the reason i use this is because one more scorch stacks means the more they're going to die and if for some reason you make a mistake they're not low enough you throw your knives you'll add more scorch stacks and if you wait a second or two you have a good chance of them burning out and still getting your melee back and still going invisible okay guys so that is why you want to use these aspects these fragments now as far as the things on the build Majority of them are interchangeable, except for the ones I'm gonna show you. We got Melee Wellmaker, because powered melee combatant final blows spawn an elemental well matching your subclass. Guys, if it's powered melee, and every single time you throw your knives, that counts as a powered melee, you're generating a solar well every single kill almost. You have wells everywhere. Then, I use Well of Life. It has to be on a solar armor, unfortunately. That is changing in Lightfall though, in case you didn't know. In Lightfall, these will be different, which is amazing. So you'll be able to put any mod on any piece. It won't matter. Say for instance, you're doing a Void GM and you don't have a Void piece of gear, you'll be able to put a Void Resistance mod on anything. They're doing away with that. It's amazing. But I'm using Well of Life because picking up a Solar Elemental Well grants increased regeneration for a short period of time. Since there's wells everywhere and every single kill I get, I'm getting a well. I have regeneration at all times almost, okay? Then I got Font of Might because picking up an elemental well, which you have at all times, 
that matches your subclass energy type grants a temporary bonus to weapon damage of the same elemental type. Meaning if you're using the multi-tool or you're using the lament or any solar weapon, you're also getting a damage buff for all that, which is at all times. You will have these at all times. So you will get a damage buff on every solar weapon at all times. Then of course, elemental charge, becoming charged with light by picking up an elemental well, which, oh, like I said, they're everywhere. So you will be charged with light majority of all the time, okay? Now for this duality dungeon, there's a couple different weapons people use. You know, they use the cataclysmic linears, they use the lucent um, or the lament, which if I'm using the lament or in a different activity with lament, I'm putting on lucent blade with this on the final one. You can choose what you want. I would use lucent blade if I had lament on. Now for runs where I'm using my linear fusion rifle, I would use high energy fire because you know, while charged with light, you gain a bonus to weapon damage. And obviously Lucent Blade, you also, it's pretty much your charge with light, so you get weapon damage, and then you make sure you put an extra arc mod on to get greatly increases the charge rate for your equipped swords. So you definitely wanna choose which activity you're doing and which one you're gonna use for it, and that's how it's gonna go. Guys, this build is by far, I don't know if I could say the best, but I could definitely say it's in running for the best Solar Hunter build in the game. And it's probably one of the best I've ever made. I got a lot of great builds for every subclass, but as far as solar goes, this is my best solar build I've ever created. And every single thing plays off the next so perfectly. Guys, I don't know what more I could do for you. I'm gonna be doing more runs and more carries today, probably live on Twitch. So you're, if you're interested in that, make sure you check the description, follow me over on Twitch so you know when I'm live. I'm gonna be doing a lot of runs, even if you don't know anything. We had people that didn't have weapons, that weren't really at light, that couldn't do any damage, doing like 200,000, and we were getting them through it no problem. So feel free to join in. Also, if you're new to the channel, like I said, and you enjoyed this or you want to see more content like this, guys, I'd really appreciate if you click that like button and hit the subscribe. Like, you will not regret it. Lightfall's coming out. I got so much good stuff on the way. I appreciate all the support. You guys, we hit 23,000 subs. It's crazy how fast we've been going. I really appreciate you guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.